they come. Hello everyone, today we're going to show you how to get the Lucky 7 Jacob's Hand Pistol. Okay, so you have to head to the Handsome Jackpot, the Compactor, and travel all the way to the left to Scrap Trap Prime. He will be dropping it. Now you see the one we got now has damages increased 40% while sliding. Fortuna. Relatively easy drop. Now the one we were using has high damage which is a thousand. Minus 12% reload speed. A five times zoom. The red text read O Fortuna, which is O luck, I guess. Lucky seven in reference. After exiting Iron Bear, the next two magazines will have 10% increased fire rate and 20% critical damage, which is very good. Now, for those of you that don't know, this weapon has a very interesting uh, bonus effect after re reload. As you can see, it's lucky 7. Now, if you reload, you're going to see on the right these six windows popping up. Now the first one with the crosshair means that all shots in the magazine deal critical hits regardless of aim. And the bullets double ricochet because it is a Jacobs to the next. The bullet means that the weapon is fired in automatic mode with an increased fire rate. The fire means that all shots in the magazine will deal elemental damage. The mushroom crowd means that all shots in the magazine fire explosive rounds with a blast radius. And the 7 just means that Fire 7 projectiles in the shape of a 7, as you can see here. And it's possible to have a very lucky draw where you're gonna have all 6 of them combined. Here we have none of them. And that can be extremely powerful. Definitely recommend you to farm this weapon, and it's one of the best Jacob's gun, and, and its effect bonus is really interesting. This is with the increased fire rate. For any non-flak player, it feels like you're in fadeaway. Real fun gun to have. Now, if you haven't seen our previous video, please be sure to check it out as it does show a way that you can farm him for the time being just by arriving on this corner, getting out behind this ledge and going back in. Will actually reactivate the boss itself and it starts over without you restarting. 